Young children with type 1 diabetes who receive standard care often do not meet glycemic targets. A new trial assessed the efficacy and safety of initiating a hybrid closed-loop control system of insulin delivery in young children. In this multicenter parallel group randomized trial, 102 children with type 1 diabetes, who are at least 2 years of age but younger than 6 years of age, were assigned to either a hybrid closed-loop control system, in which a software algorithm used data from a continuous glucose monitor to instruct an insulin pump to provide frequent basal adjustments and bolus corrections, or to standard care, which included an insulin pump or multiple daily insulin injections, plus a continuous glucose monitor. Of note, more than 80% of the training in the use of the closed-loop system, and more than 90% of all visits, were conducted virtually as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. The primary outcome was the percentage of time that the glucose level was in the target range of 70 to 180 milligrams per deciliter. During the 13-week follow-up period, the glucose level was in the target range for a greater mean percentage of time in the closed-loop group than in the standard care group, equivalent to approximately three additional hours a day. Secondary outcomes, such as the mean glucose level and the percentage of time that the glucose level was above 250 mg per deciliter, also favored the closed-loop group. The frequency of serious adverse events, including severe hypoglycemia and diabetic ketoacidosis, was low and similar in the two groups. The authors conclude that among young children with type 1 diabetes, a hybrid closed-loop control system was associated with more time in the target glycemic range than standard care. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.